like an undertone of vanilla, which an undertone of vanilla. <laughs> Itty bitty little bronzer. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my February Ipsy bag here for you today. So as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this bag and I've tried out everything except for one product inside here. So I'll be able to give you some little mini reviews on these products and just kind of my initial impressions on them. So let's get to it. So the theme this month looks like it's very Valentine's inspired. It says, hashtag Ipsy much love, what squad goals are made of. So that's really cute. I love the bag this month. It's denim and I love denim. I love jeans, I love denim shirts, denim purses, denim chokers, denim, anything. I just love denim. So I love that it's a denim bag. I would have loved if it was maybe like a different color on the little side stuff. Like I would have loved if it was like pink or purple or something because orange isn't my favorite color. But it is really cute that it's kind of like the contrasting blue and orange. So that's cute. And this is adorable too, that it's got the little like lips on the little zipper pull. So let's see what's inside. So the first thing in here I was not able to try, but this is by Trust Fund Beauty. And it just looks like it's a nail lacquer. It says, be beautiful, be ethical. Our polish is non-toxic and 10 free, which means free from blah, 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 a bunch of things. So that's really nice. And this is in the shade Latte, and it has $12 written on the top, so I guess it's a value of $12. I love this color. So as soon as I can like start painting my nails, you know, not have my fake nails, I will totally use this because this color is like so pretty, like a very cool tone, chocolatey brown. Love that. And I love that it's 10 free. That's awesome. Next thing in here I'm really not a fan of, this is the Rosa Noir Hand and Body Milk. So I use this on my hands and I liked how it felt, but I can't handle the scent. I'm almost afraid to put it on my hand again to be able to smell it. It's not bad. It's really not a bad scent. It's just like a personal preference. It's very just kind of perfumey. Yeah, like it's, it's a scent that I feel like a lot of people will like, but I just personally don't like it. It's kind of like a warm, spicy, like I can almost smell vanilla, like an undertone of vanilla, which an undertone of vanilla, which I love vanilla, but this is like a spicy, perfumey version of it. So I don't know, just not a fan of the scent, but it does feel nice. The actual like product feels hydrating. Next I got an itty bitty little bronzer. This is by Elizabeth Mott and it says, what's up beaches? And this is a matte bronzer. Really cute outside packaging, but holy moly, this is little. It's it looks like an eyeshadow, like it's really super tiny. I did use this in my crease today. I did use it as my um, contour bronzer today. And I really do like it, like it's a nice bronzer. It blended really well. It's like a nice kind of um, mid-tone sort of a color. So it's not super, like if anything, it's maybe like neutral, moving into a little bit warm, but not super duper warm, super duper warm, super duper warm. Not super duper warm tone, but just a little bit. So I like that a lot. I think it's really, really nice. It blended nicely. It's a nice shade. Um, I like that it's matte. It's just really little. Like that's gonna be really kind of, you know, I don't know. It was, it was totally fine for an eyeshadow brush to get it on my eyes, but then to use it on my cheeks, I really just kind of had to like, it got on there. It was fine. It's just a really tiny pan. Next, I got a lipstick, and this is the one that I'm wearing right now. This is the NYX Butter Lipstick, and this is in the shade Lifeguard, which is a super cute name for it. It's just kind of like a deeper classic red. I love this color. Like, it's more of kind of like a dramatic, edgy sort of a red. It just really has that beautiful depth to it, so I do really like the tone and color of it. Um, it's just kind of like a cream lipstick. It's very comfortable feeling, very hydrating feeling on the lips. I am a little bit nervous about my teeth and getting it on my teeth. So, you know, it's just, just, it's the nature of a cream lipstick in a shade like this. You know, it's just one of those, I'm a little bit nervous about it, but I could blot it and then feel more comfortable in it. So formula wise, like it's still really comfortable, but I just get nervous wearing like bright or deep colored lipsticks in this sort of a creamy formula. But that's nice, I really do like this. I think it's a nice lipstick and I'm excited about it. And then lastly, I got a full size brush, which is really nice. This is by Luxie and this is the 514 blush brush. So mine is kind of pinky colored because I did use it. 
Um, so first off, when I saw this, I was like, oh, I love Luxie brushes. They're really nice quality, really soft, very nicely made. I love the pink handles. So I do really like their brushes. It was just when I saw like the shape of this brush, this isn't one that I would normally reach for because especially for blush, I like them to be like a little bit shorter just so I can like have more precision when I'm applying my blush. This is kind of like, you know, more on the flimsy side. So I was like, not my favorite kind of blush brush, but I used it today and I did really like it. Like it did apply it nicely. I kind of use it on its side and sort of like, you know, did this type of emotion to apply it, whatever that might be. I don't know, it's technical technical term, but just kind of like lightly applied it and it just really kind of like gave a nice light application of blush. So I'm gonna use this more and I wasn't even really gonna give it a chance, but I used it today and I did like it more than I thought I would. But again, I really do like their brushes. Everyone that I've tried from them has been really nice quality and just cute to look at. All right guys, so that's everything that I got in my bag this month. So I would say overall, I'm pleased with it. I do like the bag. It's just not my favorite one I've ever gotten. Like I'm not like jumping up and down excited about it, but it is still a good bag. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. If you wanna sign up for Ipsy, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. I'd love to know what you got in your bag. Let me know that down below. Let me know what your favorite thing was that you got. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!